the center of the universe and the Thrive15.com world headquarters. Let's go! Presenting the world's only business school without the BS with optometrist and entrepreneur Dr. Robert Zellner and the former small business administration entrepreneur of the year in your ear, Clay Clark. It's the Thrive Time Show. Three, two, one. One, two, two into the three on the microphone. It is me, tis I and him. My name is Clay Clark, and I am happy to be joined with you today on the Thrive Time Show. It is a sincere honor to be here with you. We love, we love helping you grow your businesses, and we love the questions that you ask because so many of you are asking us questions every day. You're emailing info at thrive15.com. I think almost in a in a kind of a, a way where you're almost uh, doubtful that we're actually going to respond, but you'll email info at thrive15.com. And one of the questions that we're getting a lot is, okay, once I've started to build my business and it's growing now, what are the steps to actually quitting my day job and starting my, my, my dream job? So you know, you've been moonlighting, you've been working on your other business at home, you know, a couple hours here and there, but now you're, you're starting to make some money and you're wanting to know what are the steps to mo- go from, uh, you know, working part time in, in your business to going full time. And, and, and Z, I mean, what, what encouragement, my friend, would you give to somebody out there who's going, I really do want to go full time, but I'm kind of scared to make that jump. I mean, what, what kind of advice would you give for Whoa, time out. Wow. It's Monday. We can't start a Monday show off without, you know, it's lunchtime. I'm hungry. Mm. I want to know where to go eat, number one. Yeah. Number two, I want to know, you always have fascinating weekends. I want to know, like, just give me one high point of your weekend. You know, yeah, I'll give you. I mean, just don't. We got to marinate just a little bit. You can't just. I mean, you just, just like you're like that speed train from, you know, from Paris to London. Just. All right, so here, here's what we did this weekend. Thank you, thank Um, you. I like, I like like living vicariously through the. The Clark Palace and Chicken. Well, one is all the again? Clark kids work at the Thrive Time Workshop. So if you come to the Thrive Time Workshop, all five Clark kids will be there. Now you're now they're going to be serving you beverages you and they're going to be you know greeting you. And so we had a great time. Aubrey was ma- managing the, the pinion wood burning that was going on. Okay, there we go. Havana was greeting people, and then to celebrate a great conference. We actually went out to Oklahoma Joe's. We had some baked beans. We had an awesome time, and then on Sunday kind of a fun deal my son has been using his uh, 48 inch riding Husqvarna mower that he's been uh, saving up for and we we, t- we kind of teamed up with him for Christmas to buy him the the rest that he couldn't afford he's driving this 48 uh, inch riding lawn mower and he's now watering our trees you know because things are getting green now yeah he's watering all the uh, pine trees we, we planted 41 pine trees and he's out there planting those and so we had what I believe to be the perfect American weekend. Now, someone listening, they go, I'm new to the show. I don't know what's going on. I, a friend told me about it. I'm listening to the podcast. I'm, you know, they found us somehow. They may be going, conference? What you, what, 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 what happened? Well, what happens is we have a, a two-day in-person workshop that if you go to thrivetimeshow.com, you can learn about our next one. But it's really catching on, and it's becoming a phenomenon. It's becoming sort of an enigma where people say they can't understand it. It's like a, they're going, you didn't upsell me. Right, which is, it which was, is shocking for most of them that show it up. It was only $500, but yet the guy next to me couldn't afford the 500 so you scholarshiped him. So I paid 500 The guy next to me paid like 20 because he needed a scholarship, and he didn't upsell any of us, and we left with the knowledge that we needed. And then you guys gave us a subscription to Thrive15.com, and people are going, what is your motive, man? Like, what is Because when you come to these events, it's like a Jim Gaffigan concert energy meets business training. It's business school without the BS. And it's like, Z, when you walk in, in the Thrive15.com world headquarters, it's kind of like the Disneyland of entrepreneurship, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it's it's awesome. It's just inspiring. We've got a lot of uh, young people working around here. So it just kind of makes you, kind of put your little uh, hip hop in your step as you're walking through. And I'll tell you what, what's really humbling, Clay, and uh, you know, you can see them, I and you can Google this right now. You can go on Thrive15 conference reviews. And you can look at some of the video reviews and some of the reviews that people are saying about Clay, Clay's speaking ability, um, the workshop, the just the whole the whole thing. And I tell you what, it's 
it's so fun to connect with the people that are out there listening because this is you kind of think of this as a kind of a one-way event you know we're talking we're kind of pouring our our business knowledge out there and practical bite-sized steps for you to for you to get and write down and learn from but then whenever we do those in-person workshops we can actually meet you face to face give you a fist bump talk to you and actually you know kind of be real people with each other it's really kind of rewarding to see the people kind of light up and just say hey I just want to thank you. That was just, you know, you've helped my business, which in turn helped my family, which in turn helped pay my bills, which in turn gave me time freedom and financial freedom. And um, that's what we're doing this for. Well, you know, we have this this concept called the F6, which is the six F's of a successful life. And you might say the six F's. Well, the F number one is is family. You want to make those goals for your family. And you might say, well, on some of your episodes, you'd said faith. It, it really doesn't matter the order you put them in. You got, just got to put them in the priority order that makes sense for you. But family's big. Family's big. You want to ask yourself, what are your goals for your family? The second one is faith. Faith. What are your goals for your faith? Someone listening might say, well, my faith goals come first. That's fine. I'm just asking you to define a goal for all of them. Okay, so don't get worried about the order. But there's, there's family. There's faith. The next is fitness. You want to make goals for your fitness. You want to make goals for your friendships. You want to make goals for your finances, and you want to make goals for your fun. And what you want to do, uh, Z, is there, there's there's two ways that you're going to become successful. There's two guaranteed ways. You, you, Z, do you want to hear the two ways? Yeah, I would love to hear the two ways because this okay. is why I tune into the show. Well, there's there's here you go. Way number one, okay, is you want to schedule whatever you want to happen. So let's just do an example. Okay. If you want to work out and get in shape, you got to put it on the schedule. So now you go at a certain time every week and you do that. Um, I take my wife on a date on Wednesday night and Saturday night. And it's not by randomness. It's in the schedule. I take my son out to Oklahoma Joe's for baked beans at a set time because it's in the schedule. There's no shock to it. You schedule anything that you want to happen. Finances, family, friendships, you have to schedule Broadcasting live from the center of the universe. You're listening to the Thrive Time Show. And the second one that we haven't talked about yet, but I want to really get into a deep dive in this next week, is you want to automate your financial decisions. And that, oh, whoa, you want to get me in a rabbit trail there. But you want to become an automatic millionaire? Well, what you do is, you, I call this the latte effect or the coffee effect. Most people spend $5 a day on coffee or some random stuff they bought right, at a convenience right, store. Right, right. And if you automate a deduction of $5 a day or $10 a day into like a mutual fund, step one is you schedule the automation of the investment. And step two is just don't die. And then 20 years <laughs> later, you're going to hit your goal. I mean, I'm serious. That's how it works. It's the magic of compound interest. Einstein called compound interest the eighth wonder of the world. And when you automate your savings, I don't care if you never win the jackpot, if you never do anything big with your life in terms of your career, if you never have any big wins, if you just save consistently, you will win financially. So one is schedule time for what matters, but two, you want to automate your savings. And see, I want to, I want to ask you about this before we bring our special guest onto the onto the microphone. I have a question for you about this. All right, all right. Lay it, lay it on me. Big what dog. are some things that you scheduled into your schedule early on when you started Dr. Robert Zeller and Associates? Things that you put into the schedule, things that you said this has to happen that allowed you to go full-time and full steam ahead and grow that business that you think maybe the average entrepreneur is not scheduling. Ooh, that is an excellent question. The first, when you first said that, you know, I break it down to all those six F's, you know, the first one was family. You know, you got to have your date night. You got to be pur purposeful with your kids. You said, what is, how does that have to do with business? Because I tell you what, you can't have a successful business if your home life is chaos. Oh man. You can't do it. And people, a lot of the times, one of the number one questions I get asked by young entrepreneurs is how do I, how do I know when, when I've been, you know, working too much and not home enough? How? How, how do I, how do I know? How do I balance that work, life, it's scary. family, fun stuff? How do I do it? It's scary at home. And I, and I tell them this, a couple things will happen. One, your significant other will say, hey, hey, Bucky, get home. Oh. Number two, your kids will be like, dad or mom, I forgot what you look like. And, and the key is, is that just like... Let me make an analogy. When I'm training a new doctor that works for me, a new optometrist, mm. I'm not real doctors, just kind of sort of doctors. Uh, when I'm training an optometrist <laughs> to work for me, I tell them, I say, listen, when you go into the exam room, make sure and sit down. Sit down. Be purposeful and sit down. And why do I say that? Because the person that you're doing the exam on, studies show that they will think that you've been in the exam room much longer period of time than if you stood the whole time. 
Oh, right? wow. So it's a purposeful move. It's a so, move. So what I say is, when I'm saying that to say is that when you're with your kids, put your phone up. Put your phone. Disconnect from the matrix for at least an hour or two that you're spending time with your can kids. Can I go ahead and hit the air horn can so we, you can repeat that again? When you're sitting down with your kids. <laughs> do what? Put your phone. I would use an expletive there. Put your phone up. Turn it off. Turn it on silent. Tuck it away for a little bit. Nothing's going to happen in the two hours that's, you know, the breaking news, the, the you know, the dogs and cats living together, the, the eye of the, the tornado, the storm, the hurricane, the thing that's coming. It's oh good. It's going to be See, okay. See, we had a thriver who just called there saying, put the phone down. I mean, are you serious? And they, they called in, and luckily we, we were able to record the entirety of their phone call. Oh, They cool. called in. This is what they said. Oh, what'd they say? You're saying it weird. Saying what weird? What? All of it. What? I don't get it. Where do you get off? I just don't get why you're saying it that way. Well, why I'm saying what what way? It seems as though people don't understand what you're saying when you're saying turn the phone off. Well, you have to be personal because what happens is is that the time you spend, you want it to be quality time. Otherwise, you might as well not spend time with them. You know oh. what I'm saying? So the, the key is whether you're doing the date night with your significant other or spending the time with them, however you choose to do that with them, or with your kids or with you know, family and friends, or uh, let's say family, okay? So you have to be purpl- purposeful in that F6 on the family part of it, okay? And you have to schedule that, and then not only schedule it, but be there. Be there? Yes. What? Be, <laughs> be there. You know, I would schedule I would schedule things like uh, your time to go work on my marketing. I would schedule time to um, to uh, have quiet time to to map out my day. I would schedule the time to schedule my time. Schedule time to schedule your time. I know that sounds awful weird, doesn't it? You would schedule quality time with yourself? I, well, you put it like that, yes. I'm going to queue up a song I dedicate to you. I call this quality time. Quality time. 90, 90s R&B. Oh, yeah, a little quality time. Hey, quality time. And I look time. at the mirror and I go, how are you doing? I look back at myself, I'd say, I'm doing good. Now, how are you doing? Now, Z, we have a special guest on today's show. This is Dominic, okay? Now, Dominic Cooper, he's a guy who started a company called Launch Academy. Many people have a dream of starting their own business. But, Dominic, you went full-time recently, my friend. Yes. What's it like? You're out of the wage cage. You're full-time working for yourself. Talk to me, my friend. Oh, my gosh. I tell you right now, I mean, I was working in a public school for over five years. Five years. Uh, And statistics show, by the way, that 50% of teachers leave the profession after five years. Oh, wow. Uh, Yeah, I I was one of those uh, people. Uh, But I left... And now I am absolutely loving life. Now you have, we, we, we've kind of documented, we've canonized, we've written down the seven moves for, effect, for, for quitting your day job and starting your dream job. And you're going to be walking us through the steps and how you have methodically implemented each one of these steps. But I want to ask you, when you decided to go full time, yeah. what, was it scary? Oh, absolutely. I, I, I was terrified every step of the way. Uh, I mean, it felt like, um, you know, in Tulsa, there's this ride called the Silver Bullet. Oh. And it is this uh, like five, six foot story tall slide. And I felt like I was at the top of it about to slide down and there was nothing on the ground. Um, but you know what? I made the jump and I wouldn't take it back for anything. What's your website? If people are going, eh, I'm skeptical. I want to check out this guy's website. See if he's actually a credible dude. What's your website? My yeah, friend? you can go to www.launchacademytulsa.com. That is a center for everything test prep, everything academic tutoring. We have it all. So you're saying if someone wants to get to the other end of the academic rainbow, they want oh, yes. to score high on their ACT, they can do that on your website? If, if they want to go to college for free, they check us out. What's your website and what's the offer you're making on the website? Yeah, www.launchacademytulsa.com. Get a whole month of tutoring completely for $1. I can't handle it, see. I can't handle it. I'm, I'm going to have to come back in just a moment to get into these moves. This show is brought to you by Adobe Creative Cloud. If you're a photographer, graphic designer, video editor, podcaster, business owner, or just creative genius, this is for you. All of your creative tools, all in one place. Creative Cloud includes the entire collection of creative apps for desktop, from favorites like Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator, to new tools like Adobe Experience Design. Check this out, you can create podcasts seamlessly in high quality with Adobe Audition. Did you miss the exposure or looking to create a stunning and beautiful photo? You gotta download Lightroom. 
okay? The latest release of Adobe Creative Cloud is here with incredible new features in Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator, and all of your favorite apps, plus millions of Adobe stock assets and new premium images are built right in. So you can turn your brightest ideas into your best work fast. Make sure that you check out Adobe Creative Cloud. It's at adobe.com. Once again, Adobe Creative Cloud at adobe.com. All right, Thrive Nation, welcome back into the conversation. If you want your business to be more than just a feeling, if you want to turn your dreams into reality, today is the show for you. My name is Clay Clark. I'm the former SBA Entrepreneur of the Year, sent here to teach you how to, how to grow in a, a successful business. And I'm, I'm joined here inside the box that rocks with Tulsa's unicorn. Tulsa's, uh, you know, he's what you find at the end of the rainbow. He's a guy who, who started off as an optometrist and now has become Tulsa's tycoon. You could call him Tulsa's tycoon and titan of business it's dr robert zellner sir how are you i am fantastic clay happy monday to all the thrivers out there and of course if you're listening uh, on the podcast it could be any day so happy any day to you um thrivers now uh, clay you were you were wrong in your introduction of me what what did i say well you said i started out as an optometrist oh. i did not start out as an optometrist i'm sorry sir i started out as a daytime dishwasher Ooh. At Chiquita O'Brien's Mexican Chiquita restaurant. Chiquita That's why you in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's why you had a silver spoon in your in your in your hand because well, you had the spoons, silver spoons at well, the at Chiquita O'Brien. I washed a bunch of silver spoons. Trust me, I washed a bunch. And there's nothing nothing like uh, getting cheese off those plates. But you know what? My station, Dick Slater, owned Chiquita O'Brien's. Mm. And Mr. Slater, if you're out there in Radio Land or World Land, I I wish you the best. And uh, I, I haven't you know caught up. I mean, I haven't uh, kept up with him in so long. So, but he owned it, and he'd always come back there. And he'd always give me life lessons and advice. Mm. And one of the things he said was, he told me, he said, Robert, I want to tell you something right now. And this is something I've I kept my whole life. I was 13 years old. I'm washing dishes. I'm hustling. I'm boom, boom, boom. Is this know? when he said, is this when he said, he goes, you know, you, you can't, you can't put a perm on a frog, but you, you could try. Uh, is that no, when he said no, that? No, no, <laughs> that was a different even, story. That's not even different not even, story. Not sorry. Close. Sorry. I'm sorry. I was just guessing. And he told me, he said, listen, a happy, a happy, a happy station is... A clean station is a happy station. Oh. And so it might seem crazy. Wow. But I kept my dishwashing area so clean. I took pride in that because he told me to. He said, listen, it was organized. It was clean. And I just was, you know, and all throughout the day, I was just I had a good attitude. And I should have to work on time. You know, I've got audio of what and the ladies I, were saying who worked there. They'd walk by and they'd go, hi, Robert. Your station's so clean and so fresh. Yeah. 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 yeah, don't touch it. Don't touch it. You can look. You're don't so touch it. Hot. I love your station. It. I'll watch this. I'm going to lift this up. It's going to be hot steam coming out of there. What's up now? We don't mind. What are you doing tonight, Robert? You're so uh, yeah. fresh and so clean. And, and so that's where I started. And I remember I went in. I was making $1.80 an hour. Too much. Um, crazy money, I know. I was making $1.80 an hour. And I was so, man, I was just like loving it. And he brought me into, his, into the office. And he said, hey, listen, I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a 10. You're doing so great. I'm going to give you a 10 cent raise to $1.90 per hour. True story. <laughs> And I looked at him and I was so appreciative. I just said, thank you so much. Oh, that's just so awesome, man. That's just, thank you so much. And I was, I was so genuinely thankful that he said, okay, okay, enough already. I'll give you $2 and I get out of my office. And I was like, w -w -w what? And I'll tell you what, there's a, there's B, keep your station clean and be, and be happy. And he goes a long way in the workplace. Now his name was Dick Slater. Yeah, Dick, Dick Slater. Yeah, he owned a couple, three restaurants here in the Tulsa area. I have a, a song that I would like to dedicate to Dick and anybody else out there celebrating this Monday with us. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay. Roll out the Monday. Roll out the Monday of fun. Everybody, drivers, here we go. Roll out your Monday. Hey, everybody. Roll out your Monday of fun. It keeps going. Here we go. We're all going to Oklahoma Joe's. We're going to have some baked beans. Oh, roll out your Monday. Roll out. That's and that's that's as far as it goes right now. It might feel kind of the German American heritage Is oozing that, out. It seems like that's a like a familiar song or no, something. No, it's know. right. No, yeah, I did. I worked. I would. Joe said he goes. Please do not write us a jingle. And I said, 
So you want us to write you a jingle oh, with a German American theme? Stuff. Yeah, yeah. That so happens. we've written one for, yeah. for 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 Regent Bank and now oh, yeah. Oklahoma Joe's. And if you Thrivers, listen, if you are a, a, a proud sponsor of this show, you know Zip Recruiter, Oklahoma Joe's, we too could write you a jingle. Now, now let's get into let's get into the meat and potatoes of this show. The meat and potatoes here. So Dominic. Step number one, we got to get intense and yes. focus. Why do we have to get intense and get focused? What are you talking about? Why do you have to get intense and get focused when you start your business? Broadcasting live from the center of the universe, you're listening to The Thrive Time Show. You know what, Clay? I'm going to take it to another level. It's not just getting intense. It's, it's really getting pissed off and focusing. Oh, yeah, wow. I, I, I'm, I'm going to take it to that level. I mean, that's, that's really what you have to mm. do in order to Sounds get anything sassy. done. I mean, just throwing some statistics at, at you, 10% of all adults are self-employed and that's including just four percent who own their own business now what's crazy about that is the poll finds that if given a choice of starting their own business or working for someone else 57 percent of americans would opt to own their own business and so the vast majority of americans want to own their own business Mm. but they don't why and the reason why is they're not pissed off they're comfortable they're enjoying their job. They're they're en- enjoying being able to take their I hour and a half long. I have I have Joe's. two thoughts for you here, Z. I want to get your thoughts on this. All right, I'm I'm you know I am ready to share my thoughts with you right now. I Mr. think that 57 percent of people want to start a business, but I think that 87 percent of people should not start a business. Oh well, uh, well, the thing about it is this: is that they do, you know, and you know why you say that because they don't have the tools, they don't have the training, they don't have the knowledge. Correct. Because that's why, uh, and you can you can Google this, folks. According to Forbes, eighty percent of all businesses that start fail, and what that really means is that eighty percent of the of the people that start a business are not equipped with the proper. Thir- we, we have them 13 sets, but they're not equipped with the proper knowledge in the 13 areas to start and grow their business. As an example, there's a, a facility I'm working with this year that is a, a medical facility. And for 1,000, now remember, this is a company, so you tell me if this sounds like a realistic scenario. Okay, I'm listening. There's a doctor. A doctor. There's a two assistants. Is this a real doctor or kind of like, mean like a photo? A surgeon. Okay. Oh, that's a cosmetic a real, that's, surgeon. That's a real doctor. And he has two assistants that work there, two okay. nurses. Okay. And he has a full-time office manager. And a salesperson. I don't know what that payroll comes out to, but if there's basically five people there, one of which is a doctor, what's what should that payroll be per week? I mean, what in your mind? If you had a doctor and then five, you know, people working there to assist the doctor, what should that weekly payroll be roughly? Um, you're counting. The, you're not counting the doctor, right? Well, let's count the doctor too. Oh well, I mean, if he's a, well, that could be, you know, um, well, the doctor could be. I mean. You know, a cosmetic surgeon could be up there in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. So the thing was, the company is about 18000 a week of payroll. Okay. And uh, they called us, uh, the Thrive 15. I mean, I can do the math said, on it, you know, if you want me to get down. They're about 18000 exactly. and they called us and said, we, we need to grow the business. And I said, for less money than what you would spend on a, a barista, which is $10 an hour approximately, mm-hmm. um, we can help you triple sales this year if you're willing to execute the plan. And they're going... Are you kidding me? I go, no, there's no contract. You're not obligated, but we'll do it. And one thing they didn't teach at medical school was how to get to the top of Google. One Ooh. thing they didn't teach at medical school was how to do online ads. One thing they didn't teach at medical school was how to upsell. One thing they didn't teach at medical school was how to run a business. Okay, so wait, listen, I'm a cosmetic surgeon. I can't take off four years, go to Wharton, or go to you know Harvard, enroll in business school, or Cornell, or wherever I'm wherever I'm going to go and spend a hundred. I mean, I could. I'm a surgeon. I can spend a hundred thousand dollars, but I don't have the four years to go do so. What am I? What's my option? Well, one, you could uh, fork up the nineteen dollars a month and go to Thrive15.com, the world's Ooh. best business school. Two, you could come to our in-person workshops, which are the best business workshops on the planet. Just check out and read those reviews. That's thrivetimeshow.com. Or you could sign up for our one-on-one business coaching platform. Or you could go to thrivetimeshow.com and check out our podcast and listen to it till your brain explodes. But I'm telling you what, this is your year to make the leap and to start your own successful business. This is your year to start your dream job. And we're here to cheer for you and show you the way. The song I wrote, you might want to sing it note for note. Don't. Are you looking to start or grow business? Then you are definitely going to have problems and questions along the way. You will find the answers to all of your business questions at thrive15.com. Thrive15.com provides online video-based business training taught by millionaires and successful entrepreneurs for less than a dollar per day. That's less than your daily coffee budget. 
It's no classrooms, no get rich quick seminars. These are trainings broken into 15 minute segments that get you the answers that you need. It's business school without the BS. I dare you to try a seven day free trial. Simply go to thrive15.com and the first 100 people will also receive a free downloadable for how to optimize your website. So stop wasting your time and money. Go to thrive15.com and get your business questions answered now. All right, Thrive Nation, all the brown-eyed girls listening, all the brown-eyed dudes, all the blonde-haired ladies, all the single ladies, all the married ladies, all the uh, uh, Croatians. Uh, we have a lot of Croatians listening. We have several Croatians who are sincerely listening. We have people in Australia. Uh, we have Canadians. I'm sure we have some redheads. I'm sure we have people of all different people, of, you know, red, yellow, brown. I mean, all the different colors of the spectrum. This is a show. See, this show transcends race, religion, all these things that divide uh, the world. You know, all these all these political divisions. You have a country right now that's so divided politically. People are going, well, if you're not for this, then you're against that. But one thing everybody's for, and that's time freedom and financial freedom, my main man. Yeah, and what's so awesome is, you know, we broadcast out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, and we've been syndicated in a few uh, few other markets right now. But what's really fun is that every show we put up on our website, thrivetimeshow.com, and now we have people downloading in over 50 countries around the world, and they're sharing it with their friends. And so, hey, if you know somebody, you can use some practical business tips, share the podcast with them, okay? Just, just hey, click, 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 share, share, share it away. You know... And- I hate to tie into the news in a political way, but oh, no. we even have Russian ships off the coast of Connecticut oh, no. that have been downloading the podcast. I mean, Putin's going, guys, we're trying to run a covert spy operation off the coast of Connecticut. And they're saying, well, we're sorry, we have to listen to our Thrive Time show first. Well, what happened was Putin tried to hack into the show to mm. get the show, and then he figured out all he had to do was just download it off the website, and it was like, ugh. Yeah, it was unbelievable. Ah, I could spend my time hacking something. How nefarious. I mean, how how, how deceitful. I mean, he could have just gone to the show and played the podcast as much as he wanted to. Over and over and over, you know. And so we sent uh, Putin an audio gift from Carl Lewis, and uh, we we set up a a code, a virus on his computer that cannot be stopped. And here's the audio we sent uh, Putin from Carl Lewis singing the national anthem. Here we go. Anytime he opens up his email, this is what happens. Oh, say can you see Anytime his phone rings, he hears this. Anytime he gets a text message, it keeps, he can't turn it off. I'll make up for it it makes him crazy. For the land of the free. Anytime he hosts a secret spy mission meeting, he can't stop it. It just keeps playing from random places. He doesn't know what to do. So here's the deal, Thrivers. We are committed to one, irritating Putin, and two, for helping grow your wallet. And we have a guy on the show here today who's taken the leap. This is Dominic Cooper, and he's with a company called Launch Academy. It's Tulsa's number one tutoring solution. If your kid is struggling with the ACT, Dominic, lay it on us. What's the biggest success story you have? Tell me a story about somebody who is struggling with the ACT, and what's the biggest improvement you've ever helped somebody make? Oh, my gosh. Well, just uh, earlier, uh, well, actually, a little uh, last year, we had a student who made an 18 on his ACT three 18. times in a row. Uh, 18 on n- the ACT. Yes, uh, that is below average, in case some of you are wondering. And what's the w- highest you can get? Highest you can get is a 36. And so what's the lowest number you can get to get into college? Number, uh, I mean, if you, if you spell your name correctly, you'll get a 12. So, uh, you know. Okay. I'll just say that. Okay. Um, now, with most people, um, they normally ravage around a 21. So this guy got an 18 three times. We worked with him for a couple months. And basically, OSU had told him, if you can get a 22, then we'll take you uh, on our football team on scholarship. Really? And True story. Yes. And so we worked with him for a couple months. And then when uh, he finished the tutoring, he took the test. He ended up making a 23. So oh, a success story right yes. there. And now, uh, now he's playing for OSU football, doing well. Uh, apparently, uh, he's flirting with a lot of girls. Last I heard. Whoa. Uh, yep. Yeah, but uh, we can't tutor for that. So. Uh, oh, I was going to ask you. Yeah, if you tutor that. No, no. Sadly, sadly not. Teach the art of dating. Is that not a move <laughs> now? Okay. So step number one, when you want to become self-employed, to quit your day job and become self-employed. Step number one is you got to get intense and you have to focus. Yeah. You got to get serious about taking the jump. Now, step number two is you have to create a daily plan of execution. Um, Chet Holmes, the best-selling author of The Ultimate Sales Machine, uh, he writes this. He says, 
Most people spend more time planning a vacation than they do planning a life. Oh, my God. Z, I want you to break this down. Talk to us about this, having a daily plan. I know you're methodical about getting up and sort of turning the world off and, and making that, that, that plan. Talk to us about what kind of things do you put on the well, plan? What kind there's of things a, are you writing down? Well, there's a classic statement that says you don't plan to fail. I mean, no one gets up and says, hey, okay, kids, let's uh, gather around, everybody around the coffee table here yeah, or the I'm dinner table. Fail. Well, listen, we're going to try to figure out different ways that the family is a general rule of thumb. We can all fail. Well, okay? see, what I want to so do is I want to fail. Well, you're gonna, we're going we're gonna to plan to fail. I want to okay? so fail by, I don't want to fail by, I want to do it. I want to fail. I want to fail big. <laughs> if we're gonna, hey, kids, hey kids, we're gonna fail. Let's fail right, okay? Come on, yeah. let's do this thing, okay? It's a family, you know, it's a family thing. It's a family business. Here's the deal: with thing. the business, I want no customers at all. None, because you know that's failure. You so know? I want to so. ask you though: what kind of things do you plan on your daily well, basis? Wait, what man? I'm saying is, you don't you don't plan to fail. You fail to plan. Oh, mm. there it is. Oh. Oh, yeah, and then you've heard it a hundred times, and you're kind of going, "Yeah, that's right, that's right." And then you go, "Okay, what's on your calendar tomorrow? What's on what's on your calendar? What meetings do you have?" What, uh, your F6, what do you got going on? You got something uh, carved out for the family? Huh? Mm. Do you? Do you? You got something carved out uh, for faith? You're going to do a little quiet time, meditate in the morning. You're going to, what are you going to do then? Are you going to, you're going to do it? I mean, you don't have to, but you know. Do you? Right? Finances. Are you going to do automatic savings like Clay mentioned earlier in the show? And That's a huge thing. I'm just I telling just, you, if you're listening to this right now and you never become successful as an entrepreneur, you've got to automate your savings. I'm just, I'm just being real because I'm going to tell you what. By default, by default, you're going to go to a oh, gas station past, today and you're going to buy something random there at the gas station. It's going to cost 2 to $3. You're going to buy it. And then by default, you're going to go, I guess I want a burrito. And by default, you're <laughs> going to go ahead and go, well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and take the, the, the Creek Turnpike. By default, you're going to, and you're going to add up these little expenses and you look at the end of the year and you say, what happened? But when you automate your savings, it comes out without you thinking about it. And I don't understand exactly why that works, but it just does. And I will just tell you, automating your savings will change your life. Please do it. Please do it. <laughs> He's passionate about it, and that's what I love. I love his passion. That's what makes him the world's best business coach, folks. And you're getting it right now. Just tune your dial in Monday through Friday here in Northeast Oklahoma. We kind of stretch up to uh, Topeka, maybe over to, I don't know, Fort Smith. Bentonville uh, hears Bentonville us. Bentonville hears us. Oklahoma City on the edge. The ghost uh, of Sam Walton is listening Stogie. right now. <laughs> He's, <laughs> He's going, those guys are good. I, I love I those guys. I mentors when I was starting off. I wouldn't have failed all those times. So anyway, on your, on your, you look at your calendar. How about fitness? Are you going to go work out? When are you going to do it? Are you going to do stuff around the house? You're going to get, you know, some people, what they'll do is they multitask. <laughs> and what they'll do is they'll be on their, you know, little walking machine or a little glider. Or they'll be doing their thing. You know, they'll be doing the vibrating plates. You know, yeah. Oh, they'll have their shake weights. <laughs> the shake weight you know, is a shake, great oh, investment. Yeah. Shake weight. You know, they'll be doing their shake weight while they're doing something else on their F6. How about friendships? Are you going to do something with your buddies? When are you going to go bowling with them? When are you going to catch some time with your, your friends? you got to you got to give them a little time. you got to be perfectful in getting that scheduled it's like hey dude i haven't seen you in a month yeah because we haven't scheduled anything i love that move i actually hate it i love that move hey let's get together soon let's get together soon yeah let's, let's do it i mean soon. overall let's do it yeah definitely i mean man i god i just love spending time with you bro real real and soon we should a, get together yeah, man, we should bro I mean, bro, we should get together. Well, let's do it. Okay? Let's, let's do it. You call me. I'm in. I'm in. You call me. And you're welcome anytime. Yeah, anytime. I'll call I mean, you. I mean, we'll see you. Bro, seriously. Yeah, I definitely. I mean, we will. I mean, let's. All right. I mean, all right. That's good to see you. Oh, oh And now you see him man. next week at see church. You see him next week at church and you're like, hey, good hey, to see you. Good to see we you. We got to get together. Dude, we got to get the kids together. I love spending time with you. I love doing it. I mean, we should do it. Neither one of us should call and set an appointment or schedule. We should just talk about it in a nebulous way as though it's impossible to do it. Why don't we act as though getting together and scheduling time for what matters is like trying to get the Palestinians and the Israelis to agree on a peace treaty? Why don't we act like it's that hard? Yeah, I mean, yeah, hey, anytime. You're welcome. You're welcome over anytime. Seriously. No, seriously. I, my, my, mi casa su casa. You call me no, anytime. It, it's like it's like my house. It's really like your house. I was gonna call you back. I just I didn't recognize the phone number until I just saw your face. I mean, I mean, I, I I forgot to call Dude, you back. Dude, seriously, you're killing me. We got it. We gotta hang soon. I'll see you after the break. Okay. Right now, how are you taking credit card payments for your business? It's never been faster or easier to begin taking credit card payments for your business than with Square. You know the little white square that plugs into your phone's headphone jack? It's awesome. 
This payment app is great for businesses such as food trucks, beauty salons, and retail shops. The users receive a small portable card reader that they can attach to a phone or other mobile device to take fast and convenient payments. The way it works is that it subtracts 2.75% of every time a card is run uh, and it does it automatically. So if you sell a sandwich for $20, you'll see a net gain of $19.45 in your bank account the next day. If you enter the card by hand, it costs 3.5% plus 15 cents on top of that. They encrypt everything so you know you're secure. They make it super clear to start and even offer bonuses for sharing with friends. So you can learn more at squareup.com. It's free to download and works on all devices and operating systems. So make sure that you go visit squareup.com. All right, Thrivers. If you've been looking for an AM show that plays the 70 hits, the 70s hits, it's great, the great songs from the 70s, such as Staying Alive, such as More Than a Woman, such as The Hustle. Well, you found your show. We're going to bring that, that entrepreneurial muscle to the 70s hits, where you can hear some great songs like Dancing Queen and, well, there's a lot of, I mean, anything Casey and Sunshine, the Casey and the Sunshine band did, that was a great thing in the 70s. Do you remember? That's the way. Uh-huh, I like, uh-huh, I, I like, like it. it. That, that, those, oh, yeah. The beer commercials with that was um, unbelievable. You can, you can do it, Z, oh, very well. I mean, that was a great time in American history, those beer commercials with the Casey and the Sunshine band. Oh, I tell you what, they bring back a lot of, a lot of good memories. And on this show, oh, yeah. one thing we like to do, no, seriously, we love to have a lot of fun because business can be a lot of fun when you're winning. When you get in the end zone, it's Amen. okay to celebrate. Amen. It can be a lot of fun when you're winning. And we have a guy on the show today talking about the seven steps to quitting your day job and starting your dream dream job. It's Dominic Cooper, the man with the plan, the guy behind the scenes starting his American dream with Launch Academy Z. Clay, don't you skip over that. I'm not going to skip yeah. over. You always, yeah. you always barrel past the phone yeah. as if it's just sitting still. Yeah. As if it's not there. Yeah. You got little blinders on. You got your horse-drawn cart and you're just, whoosh, 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 whoosh. And you're just running by there. Just trotting, just, whoosh, 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 whoosh. Yeah. You see, the number two rule about the pig is you got no one to cook the pig. And what that means is you kind of glanced over it just a little bit. But having fun and celebrating victories, you've got to celebrate as you move along. Jack Welch has it very well in his book, Winning. And, and it's, right here my, it's right here on my desk. Oh. And what he says is, is that as a team, you've got to celebrate. And that's what your business team is. I mean, your business group is a team. Um, you have to celebrate your accomplishments. You, you give the guys a goal. You say, hey, listen, here's our sales goal for the month. And you hit it, you've got to celebrate it. You know, take them all out. Buy them pizza. Go bowling. Go, you know, go do something with them. Get them some ice cream. I mean, have some fun. Celebrate it. You can do it in whatever way you that fits your culture of your business. Now, Z, and and Z, if then everybody that encourages them, they go, hey, listen, it, it really matters that we did that. I have a, a audio from a, a, a party where we had a thriver who oh, no. took your encouragement to celebrate. Oh, good. good and yeah, what they did yeah. is they went out there and celebrated. Now, Sam, you might have to get ready to do a real-time edit on this, okay? But we have a thriver who said, Z said to celebrate. He said, you yeah. got to know when to cook the pig. Yeah, yeah. you got and Because, you know, when you see a pig cooking, you know it's a celebration. They got the big cook, the big pig and got an apple in its mouth. It's always a big party, a luau, a and party. Regrettably, this thriver, he said he maybe celebrated too much. Oh. I'm going to play the audio. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sam, are you ready? Make sure you have that editing tool ready. Here we go. Sorry, we're going, we're going streaking through the quad and into the gymnasium. Come on, everybody! Come on, Snoop! Snoop a loop! Snoop! A loop. No, it's cool, it's cool. I'm cool. Bring, bring your green hat. Let's go! Come on, everybody! We're going! Here we go! Uh, so maybe you don't want to go streaking. Maybe that's not a move. Well, I mean, that may not. That probably doesn't fit the culture of your business. Oh. Okay, guys, we hit our sales numbers. Everybody, <laughs> let's go streaking together. That's probably yeah. not the move. <sighs> though, though I, I will tell you this. If your business is running and maintaining a nudist colony, yeah, uh, and your and your team hits, uh, you know, like nudist goals, you know, for so many people there, I mean, I think that would be appropriate to go. Okay, guys, but you're probably you're kind of already streaking, so but let's go streaking down the beach, yeah. I have a, I do have a, a streaking tip for you. 
If you're going to go streaking, <laughs> one of the places that you're going to want to go streaking at is, is right here um, on the river. Because a lot of times at the rivers, you know, there's not necessarily always full here in the Arkansas River by the beautiful yeah. Thrive15.com world headquarters. And we're right here on the edge of the, the river walk. And what you'll find sometimes is you'll be walking down the river. And that's good streaking territory. It's dark. No one can see you. Or if you want to look for the, the most uh, uh, highly acclaimed uh, nudist colony in Oklahoma, look up Oak Lake Trails. Just a, just a popular <laughs> resort. <laughs> Did you just Google that? Yeah, I Oak just Oak Lake Trails. Where, I is just, that? Where is that? I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just Google. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I gotta take. Can I take one one quick funny story about it? As long as it involves colony. streaking. As long, well, okay, it kind of does. So here we are. I'm starting off. Uh, it's me, and I've got about uh, three or four. I got four ladies that work for me. One of them is part time. Okay. And it's Monday, like today. And uh, of course, we were back then. We were closed on Sundays. We we're open six days a week. Um, I work somewhere else on uh, on Sundays. One one place that was open. So I work seven days a week when we started off. Got but it. I uh, so we're Monday and kind of the kind of the move. You know, we weren't real busy. We were just kind of getting started, of course. And the move was, hey, what'd you do this weekend, right? What 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 happened? And one of the young ladies that worked for me said, well, my grand my grandparents um, took me uh, on vacation this weekend. Oh, that's fun. Well, where'd you go? Well, they took me to uh, the nudist colony they go to. Do tell. And um, and we all just, you know, it's, we were sitting there talking and laughing, and we all just kind of, everybody's frozen, just looked yeah, at her like. You're, you're joking, what? right? I mean, what? you're, you're kidding, right? I mean, this is really, the real people do this stuff, you know? And she's like, she kind of got kind of embarrassed. She's like, well, yeah, it's not that big a deal. You know, once you. Actually, it is kind of a big <laughs> once deal. You, once you, you know, you're there and the thing and whatever, you know. And uh, we're Do like, you arrive nude? Do you, or you, do, you, do you drive nude? In, or in when the do world, you get you nude? do arrive nude. I, I was born naked, personally. So, I mean, I think you I mean, oh, arrive at the nudist colony. Nudist colony 101. I mean, do you drive there fully clothed? And then I, do you, I, get, do you disrobe I, I don't, once I don't, you get there? I don't really know. I think you have to wait till you get there. I think that's kind of a thing. You have such, such a, a weird public. office culture. <laughs> such a weird office. No, so we're all looking at her going, and so we're all just sitting there kind of dumbfounded. And we say, well, what, what do they do there? And she goes, oh, I don't know. They play tennis and they do <laughs> all kinds of things. And so I'm sitting there going, oh, wait, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, so you're, you're at a nudist colony and, and, and you're playing tennis, right? I mean, this is, okay. There's said, just well, all sorts of questions well, I can't know, ask Well, normally, right you know, I'm a dude. I've played tennis before. And so you, you take the extra tennis ball and you put it in your pocket because you've got to have two to serve, right? right? And the gals take it and kind of <laughs> slip it up their, their pant leg or whatever. You know, they've got the shorts designed for that. And so I looked at it and I was like... Hmm. So I'm thinking, because I'm, you know, I'm a thinker. I like to go, where do they keep the extra tennis ball when they're serving? Huh? Yeah, huh? Yeah, where, yeah. where do they keep This that? obviously is a made-up story. Yeah, obviously this is all, you know, sham mockery. And she said, oh, they're very clever. And I said, what? And she goes, they wear this little Velcro belt around their waist. No, they, uh, they <laughs> the ball. I'm telling you the truth. Oh. Okay, enough, oh. enough, enough of nudist calling. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, so we get back. We get back to the program now. So, Dominic, I want to ask you all, all, all nude uh, references aside here. Um, how do we, how do you plan your to do list? I mean, now now that you're self employed, Stuttgart yes. Reduce create a day a, a plan of daily execution. What does your day look like now that you are self employed? You're no longer working for the man because you are the man. Yes, th- this is the naked truth, Clay. I, I will tell you that. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, nice tie. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but uh, with uh, my schedule, basically I block out time every single morning to go to the gym with my son. So that way I can knock out that uh, F for fitness. And then mm. after that, I drop him back off at the house with his incredibly beautiful mother. And then I go out and do some Dream 100 drop-offs. Uh, and then after that, I go to the office, take care of some administrative st- things. And then I block out time where I'm working with the students. I block out time where I'm making sales calls. And basically, I'm home by 6 o'clock every single night. Talk to me about your three-legged marketing stool. What We talked about that the other day on the show. What is your three-legged marketing stool at this point? What are the three moves that you're doing to market your business? Yeah, so the three biggest uh, marketing moves for myself is going to be definitely going to be SEO. SEO is huge. And then on top of that... Search engine marketing. Yes. Getting to the top of Google. Mm-hmm. And then I got Dream 100, uh, which is the businesses that are also doing business uh, with my families mm. uh, and getting them to refer me more families. Got it. And then the third one is definitely going to be uh, ads on Facebook and ads on Google. For any entrepreneur out there who's listening who says, I am struggling to make a daily plan, what advice would you have for them? Having made the jump and become self-employed yourself, I mean, you, you became self-employed. What, would, what advice would you have? Uh, first thing I would say is do as much as you can uh, while you still have a steady income coming in. 
Do mm. as much as you can. And then once you feel like, holy cow, I am maxed out right now and I know I can take it to the next level, then make that jump and just totally fill your day with get in sales. Now, this next move, step number three, is you want to cut the fat. You want to get your finances in order. Yes. You have some examples you wanted to share, Dominic. Go for it. Yeah. So one uh, big example that stood out to me was actually uh, Jay Leno. And Jay Leno um, had a very famous story about him where he had two jobs uh, ever since he was very young, uh, and he would always save one salary. So when he was starting out, he worked at a fast food restaurant and a car dealership, mm. and he got those two incomes and would save one of them. And then when he got huge and became a multimillionaire in television, he still did that, where he had his television income, and then he had his income as a stand-up comedian and he would always save one of those. And so it's just a, just a very smart uh, very smart thing to do. And I think saving is something that so many people struggle with. Huge. They push back against. They don't want to do it. And I will say this, by default, they just spend whatever they make. And so, Z, when we get back, I wanted to talk to you about saving, um, delaying gratification, and ways that you've actually been able to do it, maybe encouragement you would have for the thrivers that struggle to save. Uh, and just getting into the mechanics of, of what advice you would give for the thrivers out there who are, you know, maybe they're, they're, they're sweet children out there of the radio show. They're sweet children of yours. And they want, they want to know, how can I grow up to be a, a, an adult entrepreneur like yourself, my friend? How can I do it? How can I, how can I learn to save? You have the moves coming up next. Oh, my gosh. You've really set up this next segment. I mean, how can anybody, anybody not stick around and listen to what's coming after the break? She's got a style that it seems other, to me. I mean, other than that. This show's episode is brought to you by Moz.com. If you have ever considered the World Wide Web as a viable strategy for your business, you gotta check out this tool. Online marketing is complicated, but Moz Software makes it easy. Companies like 99designs, Otterbox, and Aaron's, they all use Moz because it works. Explore organic search keywords for your business, research Bing and Google search results for your targeted keywords, and link up Moz Local and Google My Business. Seriously, this tool is crazy powerful with the clarity it brings to online marketing for your business. Even if you're just curious, start a 30-day trial with Moz.com today. It's a game changer for your business. Moz.com, M-O-Z.com. Oh, yeah, Thrive Nation. Welcome back. I'm telling you what, this is an incredible musical lineup that Dr. Zellner's queued up. Dr. Z, I know you're a doctor. You're the doctor of the eyeball. You're an optometrist. You know about the eye. But one thing I cannot deny is you know about music. You're like a disc jockey, my friend. Where are you getting your musical knowledge? Well, I tell you what, you hang around enough DJs, it just kind of rubs off on you, you know. And that theme song, I'm going to turn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that song and I'm going to make it the theme for the next segment. Because oh, wow. the next segment's about saving money. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change. I'm going to I'm going to rewrite that song instead of "I love rock and roll." It's going to be "I love saving money." I love saving money. Mm. I love saving money. Oh yeah. Put another dime in the piggy bank, baby. baby. <laughs> I love <laughs> saving, saving money. money. Put another dime in the piggy bank, baby. Yeah, it's. I mean, the, the I mean, it's, we're, we're working through the lyrical miracle that is. I love saving money. And I'll tell you what, Thrivers, this is a big, big concept because as, as Dominic has laid out, step number three of quitting your day job and starting your dream job, mm -hmm. starting your dream job is you must delay gratification. You must cut the fat Huge. and get your finances in order. Um, yeah. I know my wife and I, what we did is we agreed that we would only buy things that were in the budget gourmet section, which is an oxymoron, by the way, at Walmart. <laughs> and they yes, have this, the, the budget gourmet. And one of the things that we found was this thing called chicken panini. And the chicken panini was probably 96% sodium, you know. It was, but it was 96 <laughs> cents. And we'd, buy, we'd go in there, we'd get that. We got the angel hair pasta. I mean, it was all these moves. And I'm telling you what, um, one, not only did we have all the side effects of eating an all-salt all salt diet, but no, but seriously, <laughs> we were able to save a ton of money. And then we decided we had to buy an advertisement. If you're, and if you ever get a chance to come to an in-person Thrive Time workshop, we'll let you into our studio to see. But see, you can see some of our first yellow page ads we have mounted up on the walls here. I know, and so I remember those. <laughs> we took our $1,500 a month that we were spending on um, our, our air conditioning. 
which is about $300 a month. We had money we were spending on, a t- you know, maybe a, t- a second car, insurance. We took money we would spend on going out to eat, on movies. We took all of it and bought Yellow Page ads, and I'm so glad we did Romantic. it. But we had to delay yes. the ra- that uh, gratification to get where we wanted to go, Z. We had to save, my friend. I, I love Dominic's move um, that he was talking about with Jay Leno. I call it the disco move. You know, double income, yeah. save, save money. It, it doesn't spell disco, but I just like saying disco. So yeah, Anytime we can say the word disco, let's say the word disco. But I'll tell you this, Thrivers. You have to be intentional about saving money. And uh, we have an audio from, from a Thriver who called in just a moment ago, and they were talking about, you guys, I mean, you can't be serious. You want to save money. This is, can't be an exciting part of the show, really. And, no. and I guess our call screener had said, no, 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 no. They, these guys are serious about saving money, and they, they find it to be exciting. And this is what our caller said. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Oh, wow. Okay, so here's the thing. is We are serious, though. You have to save money. You know what? I'm, I'm going to take this back down to the farm again. I'm, I've got a couple farm things today. Ha! It just kind of worked out well today. Hey, man, do I, I got to put on pants for this pig. segment, man? Do I got to put on pants? Do you think it's a coincidence mm. that banks that you're supposed to save money in mm. are shaped like a pig? <laughs> I don't think so. Mm. See, the pig's a wonderful animal. Yeah, and it reminds you, yeah. every time you walk out of your room and you got that, you got your piggy bank sitting on your chest of drawers right there. It reminds me of uh, pigs. My, uh, like bacon? Don't you like bacon? Oh. And, but the thing about it is, is that you have to delay your gratification. You have to save money. And when you say, what is that? That means, hey, spend cash on stuff, number one. Mm. All right? Don't run up a lot of credit. Well, I'll pay that off next month. Uh, you're not going to do it. You know, live lower than your means are. The thing about it is, is that what I've learned in life, Clay, Okay. so many times people, what they'll do is they'll have 10 bills and they can only really afford nine of them to begin with. Mm. You don't need all the channels on the cable box. You don't need all the channels on the cable box? You don't need the latest iPhone or Android or Samsung or whatever it is that you're... Oh, you you don't need... Off. You don't oh, need go. you don't need to have neon laces on your new quad skates, right? I mean, you could have the normal no. laces that come with it. You don't want to spend those extra $8 on those quad skates. You don't skates. have to have the super size disco ball. You can get by with the little disco ball. You don't you have know? to you don't have to hit your mom and dad up for extra quarters to play Galaga. No, no, you don't have to hit them up for extra money to play Donkey Kong. No, no, there's some great ladies out there. You could ask them to reverse skate. You don't need that extra money, that extra coinage. You need to save that money. Save that money. You can skate as much as you want, but you don't want to spend all that money because we got the black light, the reverse skate coming up next. It's unbelievable. It doesn't cost any extra money. Well, the thing about it is you say, how can that happen? And I tell you what, whether you're making... uh, Bacon? $30,000 a year, $20,000 a year, $120,000 a year. If you think the dude's making $120,000 a year, isn't living paycheck to paycheck... Like you making 30, 40, 50, whatever, whatever it is, 60, 70, 80, whatever it is. The problem is, is that we all get used to that paycheck and then we spend it. And then we go and we buy stuff. And then we, you know, we're always, you know, we want the latest car. We want the latest this. We want the latest that. Mm-hmm. And next thing you know, you look up and it's 10 years down the road and you don't have any money saved. And yet you have this dream. You have this like, like Martin Luther King Jr. said, yeah, I have a dream. Mm. And you have a dream right now to say, listen, I want to have financial freedom and time freedom. And I know the only way that's going to happen is, is if I start my own business and grow it successfully. Right? Right. So, Absolutely. And everybody's running around. They want everybody else to fund their business. Yeah, bro. Hey, I just need like, you know, $250,000. I can you know, revolutionize, <laughs> you know, coffee shops. Bro, bro my idea is bro. huge, bro. It's, it's awesome, bro. Unbelievable. You don't understand, bro. It's going bro. to be like, you know, coffee to the next level. Bro, are you wearing, dude? Yeah, bro. I, I, were you wearing my shirt, bro? Bro, <laughs> but so in the the point is, is that you've got to have your own skin in the game when you start your business. The only way you can have your own skin in the game, i.e., money, is to save some money. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, folks. And so the only way you're going to save money is to not spend it all. You budget it and you do automatic, off the top savings. And yeah. guess what? And you let that compound. And then after ten years or so, after fifteen years or so, but I love the double. I love the double income. Save some money. Save, save money move. I love that. Now, here's the, the deal. If, you, if you're if you not um, saving money, it's okay. And we had a, we actually brought in a motivational speaker. We asked him to be on the show. Z. We asked this guy. We called him. We said, hey, could you be on the show? Oh, that's not, oh yeah. Motivational oh, speaker. I, I went to this. Local yeah. guy. And, and he, he goes, 
I'd love to, guys. I know you guys are on every day from 12 to 2 yeah. on 1170. And, I, and he's like, I, I know that uh, the Thrivers, though, can hear the rest of the show at thrivetimeshow.com. I know there's a podcast they can hear if they miss you know, certain segments. Yeah, yeah. And he said, what I'll do is I'll come in uh, before one of the shows. He came in this morning. And he said, I'll give a motivational talk to all the people out there who, who don't want to save money. And uh, all, all the kids out there who don't oh, yeah. want to save yeah, money. Yeah, yeah. And he said, and you guys can just take that audio and play it on the show later today. And so I said, you know what, uh, Matt Foley, I'm going to do that for you. And here's the audio of Matt Foley encouraging our listeners who don't want to save money. Now, you kids are probably saying to yourselves, hey, I'm going to go out and I'm going to get the world by the tail and wrap it around and pull it down and put it in my pocket. Well, I'm here to tell you that you're probably going to find out as you go out there that you're not going to amount to <laughs> jack squat. And that, that's kind of tough. I mean, it's tough when you bring in a guy to speak motivationally and he says that. But you know what? The truth hurts sometimes. And you got to save some money. And so I'm just encouraging you, Thrivers, you got to do it. Now, Tim Ferriss, who's a best selling author of a book, The Four Hour Work Week. Yes. Uh, Dominic, he has some interesting advice here for us. What does he have for us? Yeah, I liked what he said. He said uh, he recommended adding a 30% buffer to your budget. Uh, and, so, and so that's really weird to think about. Basically, if, if you're bringing home $1,000, mm. make your budget as if you're only bringing home $700. Come on now. That, that's what you should be doing. That includes the savings. Could you too. repeat it? I'm sorry. I was, I was just pontificating I about was, the I greatness of baked Oklahoma beans. Joe's baked yes. beans. Oh, just oh, off. Just so pass me some more beans. Uh, Broadcasting live from the center of the universe, you're listening to The Thrive Time Show. Yeah, so with Tim Ferriss, he's saying that you want to add a 30% buffer to your budget because stuff's going to happen in your life. No. St st stuff is going to happen in your not life. Me. No way. No way, man. Oh, that's yes. The other, that's no way. It will not happen in my life because my life is destined for excellence. And I have positive thinking and I have read the law of attraction. And when I finished reading the law of attraction, I went to a Tony Robbins conference. And I know that I will, through the law of attraction, I will attract the things that I desire. And I do not desire poverty. So I rebuke you and I, re I push back on even you saying those words, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm sorry to say, but... Stuff is going to happen in your life that you were not expecting. Um, point in case, uh, my wife uh, announced to us, uh, let's see, it was nine months plus uh, one month ago, ten months ago, that uh, she was pregnant. Well, yep. you know, uh, uh, oh. Dominic, I will tell you one thing. Z, uh, I don't know <laughs> if the young kids today are un uh, uh, understanding how it happens, but when a man and a woman get together and some things happen, next thing you know, Boom, bang, uh, uh, baby, uh, Dominic, I'm just telling you, even married people, uh, you got to understand the birds and the bees. Robert, do we have any more trainings about the birds and the bees at thrivetimeshow.com? <laughs> this young whippersnapper is unaware how things happen. I got I to talk to this young man. What are you going to tell him to do? You come to me as a friend, I would have told you how these things work. I would have said, listen, that's why you got to get cable TV. You got to get cable TV. You got to keep yourself occupied. They have stuff to do. Next thing you know, if you know. Otherwise, your eyes will wander. Pretty soon, you'll start <laughs> caressing. Next thing you know, you're in there. You're making spaghetti. Rubbing and dubbing. You got the marinara sauce out. Talking sweet. You're rolling a meatball. You're putting some butt on some biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> the next thing you know, boom, you got a baby. And then you say to yourself, <laughs> uh, well, well, I was just, I just wanted to, I just wanted to get spaghetti. What happened? See, I, yeah, what happened? I want to finish this segment so with this music because oh. I feel like there's a lot of <laughs> oh, thrivers out more. there. Well, got some more stuff. There's a lot of thrivers out there who are saying to themselves, "Are saying, listen, I don't want to save money, and I just wanna, and I just wanna." The, the best things in life for me are free. They don't, they cost money. Z. <laughs> so I'm just gonna sit at home and make it the babies, make it the well, babies. Hey, hey, listen, <laughs> I made this money. You can't tell me what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do with the money I made? The greedy hospitals taking all the monies. I mean, I, it's my money. I can spend it if I want to. Okay, I just spent all my money. Okay, now I'm ready to, to turn off the music. See, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to. Okay, but, but seriously, the thing is, drivers, is that a lot of times I'm just being honest. You're out there as a you're out there as a as a as a person. You're going through life. You're a young married person. And you're planning things. You, you maybe you decide you want to have two kids or three kids or whatever. Next thing yep. you know, you have two real fast. Or maybe you have a medical bill you didn't expect or whatever. So you got to live below your means. Now, assuming you are doing that, you get to move on to move number four, mm -hmm. which I love, Dominic. You wrote here, get some abs. What oh, are you yes. talking get, about, bro? Get, get some abs. I mean, oh, uh, it's it. Well, what I'm not talking about is the six pack, eight pack that uh, Robert Zellner is sporting right now. Oh wow. Uh, and, and his, oh yes. Um, you can't see 
it on the radio, but he has this like even. skin tight soccer jersey on. Oh, yeah. and, and, and you can oh. just see the definition. Uh, oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not talking about those abs, though. What I'm talking about is ABS appointments, branding, SEO. That's Those are the big three you got to knock out when you uh, are creating your own business. Appointments. What are you talking about? Appointments. Why do you have to have appointments? Okay. If you make a product that's absolutely amazing and you make no sales, you will get no money. What? That doesn't seem right, because if it's a wonderful product, it'll sell itself. Oh, yeah. It'll go viral. I mean, everybody will be talking about it. Uh, I mean, it'll change the world. You, you won't be able to live without it. Uh, right? I, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you guys right now, my grandmother makes an incredible marinara sauce, uh, and I, I've uh -oh. never heard any, any... Yeah, I know. It, it's, it's in my head now. <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> but, like I can't get away <laughs> from it. Drivers, one of, the, for spaghetti. one of the things that makes a lot of my competitors crazy and has made them crazy over the years is that I'm not necessarily the most talented at, or not the like any industry I've gone into mm -hmm. um, the elephant in the room our men's grooming lounge was not we didn't go in with I didn't have a prototype I didn't have an experience in, in the hair industry it was my brother's my brother-in-law's passion he, he loves the hair industry he loves men's grooming but he didn't have a long history of success in that industry. I had certainly had no experience in that industry. I know when Z went into the auto auction industry, it was it was foreign to him. But the thing is, is that we focused on putting the first things first. And one of those things is sales. Ah. Sales. And if your business does not have any sales, you will fail. Fails. fails. It's, yes, not, it's not going to work out for you. So, Thrivers, I'm telling you what, when we get back, Dominic's going to be walking us through his ABS system. He's a guy who's made the jump from yes. being a, a full-time teacher to now being a full-time self-employed owner of a tutoring company. He made the jump. It's a little bit scary. To quote Reed Hoffman, the founder of LinkedIn, starting a business is a lot like jumping out of an airplane and then assembling a parachute on the way down. Thank you, Reed Hoffman. Yeah, you, ho you hope it's way up high and you got time and you're good at assembling parachutes. Where is <laughs> that lever? Where's that? Where's, Where's the, the cord? Where's the cord? <laughs> Okay, managing your money has not been easier. Mint.com is the solution to ambiguous and blind money management. You can effortlessly create budgets that are easy to stick to or even use one that they make for you. Design budgets that are appropriate for now and put you in position to succeed in the future. Get notifications for weird account charges and receive personalized tips for eliminating fees and saving more money. Check your credit with a free credit score and explore what you can do to improve it to be able to purchase the things that you really want later. Link up the app on your phone and money management on the go has never been easier. You can even link up your portfolio accounts so you can see your bank accounts and stock values side by side. Mint.com, you gotta go check it out and you can sign up for free. Again, that's mint.com, M-I-N-T.com. Go sign up right now. It's definitely a game changer for money management. All right, Thrive Nation, welcome back into the conversation. A big special hello to all the brown-eyed girls out there, especially my incredible wife of 15 years, Mrs. Vanessa Clark. Hey, I can't wait to see you after dark, if you know what I mean. My name is Clay Clark, the former SBA Entrepreneur of the Year, sent here on a mission to help magnetize your career. Magnetize? Yeah, we're trying to help you attract some money. Via, like, we want you to become a money magnet, Z. Ooh, that was a nice little little catchphrase there. Well, you we, we, a we, we money well, magnet. I think but there's people out there once they learn these skills, they become a money magnet. And I'm going to read you a notable quotable from a real thriver out there. It's on page uh, 140 of the Boom book that all the thrivers get at our in-person workshops. This comes to us from an attorney in Dallas, and since he sent us this testimonial, I will read you his name, and I will read you all the details, which is exciting. This is from Scott Reeb. It's R-E-I-B-Law.com, Scott Reeb. And this is what he said. He says, so far, we've generated $63,600 of additional annual gross revenue as a result of the access plan you helped us create, you being our Thrive15.com Thrive15.com team. Wow. says, we are closing in on 10K in monthly revenue. I just signed up an additional access client, and it's the second one that I've landed in the last 30 days from LinkedIn. And the only thing I'm doing on LinkedIn is the myth versus law and the legal mumbo jumbo that we created, by the way. Oh, he yeah. says, I'm not doing any other activities that appears to really be working in that medium. So I'm making 
$850 a month off of my free LinkedIn subscription. So I'm kind of excited. So I just wanted to let you know that some of what we're doing is working. Oh, oh I love it. That's oh. a real story, a real Thriver. So here's the deal, Thrivers. I'm telling you what, that was a, a tool that we taught him. We, t- we teach these things that are in person, uh, two-day Thrive Time workshops. And I'm telling you what, these are 15 hours of power. Our next one is coming up here. You can go on to thrivetimeshow.com to get the dates. We're doing one a month, and I'm just telling you, these things are game changers. And when you get a chance to come to a workshop, man, let's just do the math. He spent $500 at a workshop. You know, okay. people spend $500. Yep, yep, yep. And he's making an extra $63,000 a year. Now, if you take the 63600 and you minus it by 500, you subtract the 500. Now, Dominic, you, you're, you're a, a, a tutor here, but I'm not sure. 63,600 yes. minus 500, what does that come out to? Uh, you're looking at about 62,500. Oh, so you're, you, see, we're Six, getting- 62,500, yeah. So yeah, you're, so Thrivers, here's the deal. If the point is you're coming out at least $63,000 ahead if you come out to an in-person workshop and you execute the game plans if you're an attorney in that space. Whoa, time out, time out, time out. He's an attorney. Yep. Uh, with his Juris Doctorate. Yep. Okay. So let's just let's just say he had to do undergraduate school. True. Okay. And then he had to do law school. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and and he spent all that money. And now he gets out and he, he they, no one taught him those moves. No one taught him those you moves. You think it'd be self-evident. It's kind of like, you know, it's like, hey, I'm, I'm in school all these years. And I get out and I don't know the moves. And, and you know what? You're not listening out there right now. You're like, I've got a lot of education. I've been in school a lot of years. In fact, you might even have a business degree. But things move by pretty quickly. Things change pretty quickly. It, you know, especially it seems like uh, as I get older, they, you know, things just kind of build up steam. Kind of like that train you ride every now and then, Clay. You know, just, you know. <laughs> You have to so what happens is it's okay. You know, and half the time you don't even know what you don't know. And that's why getting on thrive15.com, you know, that's why coming into our in-person workshops, that's why reaching out to us, asking us questions, you know, one-on-one business coaching, listening to this show. Thank you very much. The podcast, or if you're around the areas that we're broadcasting from, you can listen to it Monday through Friday, 12 to 2 PM over your lunchtime. You know, you don't even know what you don't know. And that's why a lot of guys come out and they go, aha. We have one more that I want to share with you because we are just coming in hot with these testimonials. Oh, I love the testimonials. This one is on page 16 of the Boom Book, the in, the workshop book that we what give page? you. What page? Uh, page 16. And, because uh, 16. So I got, I'm, because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm spell checking you as you go. So here we go. This just came into, uh, this came in from a thriver who happens to be the general manager of your Tulsa Oilers. And he writes this. He says, our experience working with Clay Clark and his team has been nothing short of amazing. When our team first met Clay, I expressed that if we were able to move the needle and get the results, we'd be working together for a very long time. Clay and his team listened to our uh, problems and custom built a program specifically for us. So far this season, we have experienced a 42% increase in sales. Boom. I love that. That's the Tulsa Oilers right here in town. Now, Thrivers, you might say, well, what did they do? We incorporate a very aggressive search engine marketing campaign, a very aggressive social media marketing campaign, Mm -hmm. and a very, very aggressive calling and follow-up campaign. So if you filled out the form, guess what? We're going to call you. That's how it works. Now, Dominic, you're teaching us your step four for becoming self-employed, for making the jump. And one of those steps you said was, A, you have to have appointments. Yep. B, branding. Uh, Z, let's, let's let Dominic talk a little bit about branding. Broadcasting live from the center of the universe, you're listening to The Thrive Time Show. All right, so when it comes to branding, I'm going to tell you right now, this is the fastest way to create a jackass brand. Fastest way to create a jackass brand? Yes, yes. the fastest way is to promise one thing and deliver something inferior. Oh, so you're, what you're doing is you're, you're referencing um, the ancient, deep, dark arts of jackassery. That's what yes. you're doing right now. Yes, so if you want a business that makes no money... Mm. Then mm, you promise okay. one thing and you deliver something inferior. Now, on the other hand, if you are, you know, the minority out there who wants to figure out what is the fastest way to create a viral brand like Thrive uh, 15, like DJ Connection, it is to promise one thing and over deliver. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm yes. gonna I'm gonna tell you something, Z, that I think it's time for some Boston business tips. <laughs> Boston Business Tips, Lobster. So my main man, Bill Belichick, he goes out there, and every year he says, all you want me to do is win. So says, I might have to deflate some balls, I might have to film the other team, allegedly, but you want me to win, I'm going to win. That's all Bill Belichick. But every year, seriously, the guy, 
He talks about all the time. They did an interview this year, and uh, one of the reporters said, uh, Coach, headed into the playoffs here, headed into the playoffs, um, what are your thoughts? He actually asked this question. He said, what is your opinion about the team's level of swag headed into the playoffs? And if you get a chance, drivers, to look this up on YouTube, just Google Bill Belichick on swag. He says, I'm, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, I'm not really sure what that what that means. Um, but if if that's related to winning, I think we have a lot of it. Um, and if we, <laughs> and if we, so I'm just it's interesting how. But he is his whole thing is he's not trying to be the sexiest coach in the NFL. He yeah, promises yeah. that he's going to put the great, uh, very competitive team on the field year after year, and that's what he does. And I just think right now, if you're listening, you've got to make sure that you try everything in your power to uh, to back up what you promise. And that's why we unabashedly re- encourage you to check out our in-person workshops because we have a satisfaction guarantee. Mm-hmm. And, Dominic, you have a guarantee right now. You're giving somebody one month free of tutoring. Is that right? Uh, actually, a little bit of a correction. You're not giving uh, someone. I'm giving anyone who calls us uh, today a one-month subscription to our academic coaching for $1. $1? One dollar? One dollar for one month. How much does that normally cost, bro? Normally, you're looking at about $154 per month for this package. You're giving away $154 of free stuff to anybody who's listening right now. As long as you have a, a student out there that needs to improve their academic standing, you have that for them? Yes. Yes. See, it sounds sketchy. See, it sounds sketchy. It sounds like a, <clears throat> like a kind of a bait and switch or something. I'm not sure. I went into this haircutting place the other day, and uh, they charged me a dollar. And you know what? I tried to come back. <laughs> <laughs> they try to charge me more than a dollar. That's just kind of a squirrely deal. Oh, wow. Now, see, you might be referencing our no-brainer offer we have at the elephant in the room. And I'm going to tell you what. If your hair says to the world that you don't care, if your mop needs a chop, if your wig is keeping you from getting that gig, if you're – I'm just telling you, you need some style on that hair pile, go to Elephant in the Room. Check it out. That's EITR Lounge, Elephant in the Room, Tulsa's number one men's grooming lounge, and it's only a dollar for that first hair cut. Stay tuned. Thrive Time Show on your radio. For the professional-looking man out there, this is for you. Are you tired of waiting for hours in disorganized barbershops around town? Are you maybe looking for an upscale haircut experience instead of being treated like a little kid? If either of these thoughts crossed your mind, then Elephant in the Room Men's Grooming Lounge is for you. The Elephant in the Room Men's Grooming Lounge is proud to offer a variety of packages and memberships for discerning men and regular customers who wish to maintain their tailored look while receiving discounts off of services and products. They're going to bring you in, they'll offer you a beverage, identify your style that you're going for, get you a tailored haircut from one of the professional stylists, wash your hair, and then style it afterwards so you could even go back to work. The experience is awesome. They even do cool things for members like a free nape shave on Mondays or a peppermint oil scalp massage on Tuesday. Check out one of the locations near you and book an appointment. You can check them out at EITRlounge.com or just dial 918-877-2219. Seriously, you're going to love it. 918-877-2219 or visit EITRlounge.com to book an appointment today. Thrive Nation, welcome back into the conversation. A big special hello to all the brown-eyed girls out there, especially my incredible wife of 15 years, Mrs. Vanessa Clark. I can't wait to see you after dark, if you know what I mean. My name is Clay Clark, the former SBA Entrepreneur of the Year, sent here on a mission to help magnetize your career. Magnetize? Yeah, we're trying to help you attract some money. Via, like, we want you to become a money magnet, Z. Ooh, that was a nice little little catchphrase there. Well, you we, we, a we, we, money we, magnet. I think but there's people out there, once they learn these skills, they become a money magnet. And I'm going to read you a notable quotable from a real thriver out there. It's on page uh, 140 of the boom book that all the thrivers get at our in-person workshops. This comes to us from an attorney in Dallas. And since he sent us this testimonial, I will read you his name and I will read you all the details, which is exciting. This is from Scott Reeb. It's R-E-I-B law.com, Scott Reeb. And this is what he said. He says, so far we've generated $63,600 of additional annual gross revenue as a result of the access plan you helped us create. You being our thrive15.com 
Thrive15.com team. Wow. says, we are closing in on 10K in monthly revenue. I just signed up an additional access client, and it's the second one that I've landed in the last 30 days from LinkedIn. And the only thing I'm doing on LinkedIn is the myth versus law and the legal mumbo jumbo that we created, by the way. He oh, says, yeah. I'm not doing any other activities that appears to really be working in that medium. So I'm making $850 a month off of my free LinkedIn subscription. So I'm kind of excited. So I just wanted to let you know that some of what we're doing is working. Oh, oh, I love it. That's oh. a real story, a real Thriver. So here's the deal, Thrivers. I'm telling you what, that was a, a tool that we taught him. We, ta- we teach these things that are in-person uh, two-day Thrive Time workshops. And I'm telling you what, these are 15 hours of power. Our next one is coming up here. You can go to thrivetimeshow.com to get the dates. We're doing one a month, and I'm just telling you, these things are game changers. And when you get a chance to come to a workshop, man, let's just do the math. He spent $500 at a workshop. You know, okay. People spend $500, yep, yep, yep. and he's making an extra $63,000 a year. Now, if you take the 63600 and you minus it by five hundred. You subtract to five hundred. Now, Dominic, you you're you're a, a, a tutor here, but I'm not sure. Sixty three thousand yes. six hundred minus five hundred. What does that come out to? Uh, you're looking at about sixty two thousand five hundred. Oh, so you're you see we're Six, getting sixty two thousand five hundred. Yeah. So yeah, you're so thrivers. Here's the deal. If the point is, you're coming out at least sixty three thousand dollars ahead if you come out to an in person workshop and you execute the game plans. If you're an attorney in that space. Whoa! Time out! Time out! Time out! He's an attorney. Yep, uh, with his juris doctorate. Yep. Okay. So let's just let's just say he had to do undergraduate school. True. Okay, and then he had to do law school. Right. Mm-hmm. And 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 he spent all that money, and now he gets out and he he they, no one taught him those moves. No one taught him those you moves. You think it'd be self evident? It's kind of like you know, it's like hey, I'm I'm in school all these years, and I get out, and I don't know the moves, and and you know what? You're not it, listening out there right now. You're like, I've got a lot of education. I've been in school a lot of years. In fact, you might even have a business degree. But things move by pretty quickly. Things change pretty quickly. It, you know, especially seems like uh, as I get older, they, you know, things just kind of build up steam, kind of like that train you ride every now and then, Clay. You know, just, you know, <laughs> you have to. <laughs> so what happens is it's okay. You know, and half the time you don't even know what you don't know. And that's why getting on Thrive15.com, you know, that's why coming into our in person workshops, that's why reaching out to us, asking us questions. You know, one-on-one business coaching, listening to this show. Thank you very much. The podcast, or if you're around the areas that we're broadcasting from, you can listen to it Monday through Friday, 12 to 2 p.m. over your lunchtime. You know, you don't even know what you don't know. And that's why a lot of guys come out and they go, aha. We have one more that I want to share with you because we are just coming in hot with these testimonials. Oh, I love the testimonials. This one is on page 16 of the Boom Book, the in, the workshop book that we what give page? you. What page? Uh, page 16. And, uh, oh, 16. So I got, because I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm spell checking you as you go. So here we go. This just came into, uh, this came in from a thriver who happens to be the general manager of your Tulsa Oilers. And he writes this. He says, our experience oh, working yeah. with Clay Clark and his team has been nothing short of amazing. When our team first met Clay, I expressed that if we were able to move the needle and get the results, we would be working together for a very long time. Clay and his team listened to our co- uh, problems and custom built a program specifically for us. So far this season, we have experienced a 42% increase in sales. Boom. I love that. That's the Tulsa yeah. Oilers right here in town. Now, Thrivers, you might say, well, what did they do? We incorporated a very aggressive search engine marketing campaign, a very aggressive social media marketing campaign, Mm -hmm. and a very, very aggressive calling and follow-up campaign. So if you filled out the form, guess what? We're going to call you. That's how it works. Now, Dominic, you're teaching us your step four for becoming self-employed, for making the jump. And one of those steps you said was, A, you have to have appointments. Yep. B, branding. Uh, Z, let's, let's let Dominic talk a little bit about branding. Broadcasting live from the center of the universe, you're listening to The Thrive Time Show. All right, so when it comes to branding, I'm going to tell you right now, this is the fastest way to create a jackass brand. Fastest way to create a jackass brand? Yes, yes. the fastest way is to promise one thing and deliver something inferior. Oh, so you're, what you're doing is you're, you're referencing um, the ancient, deep, dark arts of jackassery. That's what yes. you're doing right now. Yes, so if you want a business that makes no money... Mm. Then mm, you promise okay. one thing and you deliver something inferior. Now, on the other hand, if you are, you know, the minority out there who wants to figure out what is the fastest way to create a viral brand like Thrive uh, 15, like DJ Connection, it is to promise one thing and over deliver. 
Oof. Oh, ho, Oof. Ho, ho, ho. I'm yes. gonna I'm gonna tell you something, Z, that I think it's time for some Boston business tips. Boston business tips. Lobster. So my main man Bill Belichick, he goes out there and every year he says, All you want me to do is win. Says I might have to deflate some balls, I might have to film the other team allegedly, but you want me to win, I'm gonna win. That's all Bill Belichick. But every year, seriously, the guy he talks about all the time. They did an interview this year, and uh, one of the reporters said, uh, Coach, headed into the playoffs here, headed into the playoffs, um, what are your thoughts? He actually asked this question. He said, what is your opinion about the team's level of swag headed into the playoffs? And if you get a chance, drivers, to look this up on YouTube, just Google Bill Belichick on swag. He says, I'm, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, I'm not really sure what that, what that means. Uh, but if if that's related to winning, I think we have a lot of it. Um, and if we, and if we, so I'm just it's interesting how but he is his whole thing is he's not trying to be the sexiest coach in the NFL. He yeah, promises yeah. that he's going to put the great, uh, very competitive team on the field year after year. And that's what he does. And I just think right now, if you're listening, you've got to make sure that you try everything in your power to uh, to back up what you promise. And that's why we unabashedly re- encourage you to check out our in-person workshops because we have a satisfaction guarantee. Mm-hmm. And Dominic, you have a guarantee right now. You're giving somebody one month free of tutoring. Is that right? Uh, actually, a little bit of a correction. You're not giving uh, someone. I'm giving anyone who calls us uh, today a one month subscription to our academic coaching for $1. $1? One dollar. One dollar? One dollar for one month. How much does that normally cost, bro? Normally, you're looking at about $154 per month for this package. You're giving away $154 of free stuff to anybody who's listening right now. As long as you have a, a student out there that needs to improve their academic standing, you have that for them? Yes. Yes. Z, Z it sounds sketchy. Z, it sounds sketchy. It sounds like a, <clears throat> like a kind of a bait and switch or something. I'm not sure. I went into this haircutting place the other day, and uh, they charged me a dollar. And you know what? I tried to come back. <laughs> <laughs> they try to charge me more than a dollar. That's just kind of a squirrely deal. Oh, wow. Now, see, you might be referencing our no-brainer offer we have at the elephant in the room. And I'm going to tell you what. If your hair says to the world that you don't care, if your mop needs a chop, if your wig is keeping you from getting that gig, if you're if, – I'm just telling you, you need some style on that hair pile, go to Elephant in the Room. Check it out. That's EITR Lounge, Elephant in the Room, Tulsa's number one men's grooming lounge, and it's only a dollar for that first – hair cut stay tuned thrive time show on your radio are you a business owner you need to ask yourself right now how are you backing up your files and important documents most businesses have no system for the files in their business. If this is you, you gotta use Dropbox. At least sign up for one of their 30 day free trials. Real talk, it's the secure file sharing and storage solution that employees and IT administrators trust. You get as much space as needed at no additional cost. You get unlimited file recovery and versioning, basically creating new versions, and valuable admin controls for secure sharing and collaboration with Dropbox for Business. You gotta check this out. After using Dropbox, you'll definitely feel more secure knowing that a virus or power surge can't ruin your computer and your entire business. Try full access to Dropbox business for 30 days head over to dropbox.com to get started again dropbox.com to get started oh thrivers welcome back to the thrive time show your audio dojo of mojo this is typically the only time you would hear this song is typically at the crescendo of a wedding reception many of the guests have left early but the committed guests z do you remember bridget's wedding when the when the committed guests were there, oh yeah, and they all stuck yeah. around, and you get those. I think we got candles out. We we lit the candles. Do you remember this? Ah, uh, like it was yesterday. And people are holding the candles up, and they're singing that. Do you have to turn it off? I mean, I just it hurts my soul. No, I mean, no, I, just, I don't. I remember. No, yeah, because you know I, I paid for it. So now, Thrivers, I, I want all the really Thrivers to sing it, well. it with us because this is so important, yeah. right? I mean, this is a this is a big song in American history, and I think "Don't Stop Believing" is what it's all about. If you want to become a successful entrepreneur, you can't stop. So you got to start believing. Here we go. That, and that's what we're that's what we're preaching on this show, Thrivers. This is big. You, you have just enough time to get, get into Oklahoma Joe's, get some baked beans, set up your bank account at Regent Bank, go on ZipRecruiter, recruit some people, and then you just got to get yourself ready 
to go to the crescendo. We'll play the rest of it to take you out. See, we're just going to tease them a little bit. We're not going to give them the whole thing because right now it's, it's, I don't know if they're ready for it yet. Well, you know, ready or not, here, you know, we got to wrap up the show. It's been a great Monday show. It's I been a like, great and Monday. Dominic's been a great guest. Thank you. And you say, why, why do you have guests on there? You know why? Because we love pointing out successful local business people. You know, we like getting them on the show, you know, picking their brain a little bit. So if, you know, if you want to be on the show, if you know someone who should be on the show and you're, and you're in their local area or you come in for the show, just email us at info at thrive15.com. You can, you can email us your questions. You can email us and say, Hey, you know, Billy's, you know, he's, he's got the best donut shop around doing a great job. And we love putting the spotlight on local businesses that have done well and that are doing well. And, um, you know, then they can serve, they can share a little of their secret sauce with us. So Dominic Cooper's a guy, he was a school teacher for five years. He ends up starting his dream job, starting his own business, Launch Academy. And he's sort of been uh, almost like a diary, taking note of the things he's learned as he's gone on to start the successful company. And Dominic, step number six that you documented here was you need to create your pay system. Enlighten us, my friend. Oh, yes. Now, when you're creating your pay system... Huge thing, and this this might sound like a duh thing, but so many people don't do it. You have to determine how much do I want to make from each sale or each product sold. That seems like a scary idea to think about how much money you Wait, would charge and make. How much money do you want? Oh, it's money talk. Yeah, what's it's just money. It's just money. It's just money everywhere. I just change the world. It seems like everyone always just talks about. I just want to make this happen. I just want to focus better. on my product. My brand. I don't know. What's going on? Sorry. <laughs> now that's, is that how you feel though? I mean, is that how you feel when you sit down and think about your pricing? I mean, is that, does that ever feel overwhelming? I'll, I'll tell you the honest truth is um, it took me probably close to five years uh, before I really Oof. did this. Yeah. Five years. Five years. What was the holdup, bro? The, the holdup was exactly what you're talking about. It's like, oh, I don't really want to, you know, think about all the money. I just, I just want to give a great experience to, you know, the family. We put a microphone in your ear, <laughs> and then we wove it deeper into the area behind your ear. What's that area called behind, behind the actual exterior the, the ear? The inner, the inner ear. The inner ear. No, <laughs> it went beyond the end of the your brain. Technical science. We, went, we, we, we touched your uh, brain stem, and we put the microphone <laughs> on your, on the your stem, <laughs> the stem of your brain. Yes, we put, we put. We put <laughs> Just a stem. <laughs> we, we put the, but, but because we had to run a cord, it, it somehow connected to your nasal cavity. And this is what you heard inside your head. I don't want to charge too much. I don't want to charge too much. Don't, don't charge too little. I don't charge too much. I want to be known as a big time brand. I don't want to be known as a small brand. I want to be a big brand. People are going to know me as a discounter. I can't go possibly raise my prices or lower my prices. Oh my God. It's not worth it. So, I mean, that's what we, that's what we heard. And we're going... That's a little weird, bro. That's a little it, weird. Because it, oh, it sounded like oh, there were multiple God, people it was. there. <laughs> it was really made it sound weird. Yeah, right. it sounded, I had, oh, I had my heard that in so long. That, that was really weird to hear again. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now, the next thing we talk about when you create your pay system, when you finally figure out what you're going to charge, you know, your customers, what you're going to pay your employees, you have to move on to this next step, step number seven. And for sake of time, you got to pack your parachute and you got to jump, bro. What are oh, you talking yes. about? What? Here we go. Now, the thing is this. I love this Napoleon Hill quote. Every person who wins in any undertaking must be willing to cut all sources of retreat. Only by doing so can one be sure of maintaining that state of mind known as a burning desire to win, which is essential to success. Z, I have a story that I want to share to all the entrepreneurs out there because this story is the story of entrepreneurship. Are you ready? Are you going to give me a little story time music? Yeah, on. here we go. Okay, here okay, okay. okay. So you get the idea to start a business. Mm-hmm. And maybe you haven't planned as well as you should have. Mm-hmm. And so you haven't saved enough money from your other job. And you haven't really thought through the math of the whole thing. And one day, hypothetically, not, not so much you, Thrivers, but a guy named Clay. Uh, not, not so much me, but just a guy named Clay. It could be sure. any, any Clay out there. He was attending Oklahoma State University. And he was working at a part-time job. And one day his wife comes home from work and she discovers that he is on the couch. Yep. Oh. And now he happened to be I, so I have to let you know that was me. So I'm on the couch. My wife comes home. She says, hey, um, why, why are you home so early from Oklahoma State University and from your job working over there at, at Faith Highway? What happened? Why aren't, why aren't you at Faith Highway? Why aren't you at Target? Why are you not at Applebee's? Why are you not at any of the jobs you've previously maintained? And why are you not at DirecTV? And why are you not at Oklahoma State University during the middle of the day? And I looked at her with that kind of crazy Clark Griswold eye, and I said, uh, <laughs> because I, uh, I, I uh, started my own business. And she said, <laughs> what? And I said, no, no, no. I mean, we've always had the business, but I'm full-time. I'm free. I can do whatever I want. I'm free. I can do whatever I want. 
I'm the, and I literally was so excited. I began going, yes, I am free. I remember saying, I'm I am free. free. I started my own business. I could do whatever I want. And then the music stopped. And I realized, holy crap, I have to sell something. <laughs> I, I, oh, no. I remember that. I remember seriously going and talking to my guidance counselor, Bill Welch at Oklahoma State, Oakmoge. If you know Bill Welch, he's a great guy. I remember sitting down with him, and I said, Bill, if I stay the course and I get this degree in graphic design, multimedia, how much will I make? And he, he tells me in the figure. And I said, I've got to be real. That's how much I could make? And he goes, well, yeah. And at the time, it was like 32000 a year. And I said, I have to go to school for two more years. <clears throat> To make thirty two thousand a year, and he's if, going. If you get a job and if you play your cards right, yes. and he said, uh, "Well, yeah, we well, will need to in- internship." And I remember just going, "Oh no!" Because I said, <laughs> I, I, "I was doing the math, and I was making about six hundred dollars a week DJing at the Yucatan liquor stand at various clubs." And I'm like, "That's like, I don't know, thirty thousand a year right there, just one night a week. Why in the world would I work yeah. full time here for thirty two thousand a year with no upside? There's no mentorship. I'm not learning anything. I don't have anybody encouraging me. A lot of times, thrivers, by the way, you need to take a job to learn before you earn. You need whoa, a mentor. Whoa, 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 whoa. Back, back, whoa, back, back to pump the brakes, Tiger. Before what, you what? enter the success. Sometimes you need to have a mentor, okay? Sometimes you need a mentor to help you mentor your success. A lot of times what happens is you want to be successful, but you don't know the way, and so you have to find somebody who's done it before. Mm-hmm. And that's one thing that amazes me and wows me is when somebody comes into our building who is coachable. Now, the thing is you've got to show up at your appointments, and you've got to do your tasks. But we have an entrepreneur that will come in, and faithfully meet us and, and, and execute the plan that Z and I have, have laid out in our boom book, our 13-point business system that we've laid. That we, by the way, when we teach you the time management system, it's not our opinion. It's Lee Cockerell, the guy who managed Walt Disney World's proven system. We teach you PR. It's not our opinion. It's the guy who used to be the PR consultant for Michael Jackson, for Nike, for Prince. When we teach you sales, it's the top salespeople on the planet. When we teach you funding, it's Sean Copeland, the CEO and president of Regent Bank. We're not making this stuff up. This is real proven stuff. And we cite it all, we vet it all, and when they execute it, it is so exciting to see local and national entrepreneur Z execute the plan and become self-employed success stories like Mr. Dominic jumped through the hooper, Cooper over here. This guy's having some success, he's jumped through the hoops, he's doing it Z, it's exciting. It's exciting when you see young people, even it doesn't matter the people, but young in the sense that their business is young is what I meant. And they they listen to what you you do, because they say, listen, I know I'm going to make a a mistake if I don't get mentored because I'm going to either learn by mistakes or by mentoring. And, and I hope I have enough money. If you're, if you're learning by mistakes, hopefully you have enough cash in the bank that you can make a lot of mistakes. And enough blood. Uh, and <laughs> enough blood. Otherwise, you want to get some mentors. And we all want great mentors. And that's what we've done. We've traveled. You didn't even mention the leadership one. We've got a stud helping us in leadership. David that's, Robinson, oh who a lot God. of people don't know, he's, a, he's been more successful off of the basketball court than on it. Academy Sports, maybe you've seen that. Yeah, that's just him. kind of a thing. Omni Hotels, that's his thing. Uh, Center Plate, that's the number one catering uh, business for all the big stadiums. That's him. He's raised more money for the Naval Academy than anybody else. He has a $300 million venture capital fund. He's doing all right. He's doing great. And so, you know, how did we, <laughs> how did we trick these guys into being mentors? Well, we just told them our story. We told them what our heart was. And you know what? We found guys that were goats, greatest of all time in their mm. in their category. Boom. And we talked them in to come on, on board. Some of them own a little piece of it. Some of them are just mentoring. Some, uh, you know, all different stories and ways that they're on board. But I'll tell you what, folks. When you get a chance to sit down and learn from these high-level guys and gals, it's, uh, it's a game changer. Now, Thrivers, we have four ways you can change your life. And a bonus five. I'm going to go fast. Here we go. One, go to Thrive15.com and check out the world's best business school. Two, go to Thrive15.com and subscribe to our podcast. Three, sign up for in-person one-on-one mentorship. Four, sign up for the Thrive Time in-person two-day workshops. And five, what's your offer there, Launch Academy? Oh, go to www.launchacademytulsa.com to get one month of academic coaching for only $1. And Z, as always, three, two, one, boom!